Hey guys, I know I haven't uploaded in a long time, like long form content, but today I'll be um, ranking some flight simulators I played on Roblox. As you know, your boy can't afford Microsoft Flight Simulator. Anyways, let's get straight to it. First off, we have Ilolio Flight Simulator. Me personally, I hate this game and a lot of people do. It shouldn't even be a flight simulator. You have to literally fucking pay Robux to even fly a plane. That literally defeats the purpose of a flight simulator. And when no one's playing it, you're just stuck at the gate. Supposed to be one of those group airline thingies, but honestly, it's really really bad. I I put this in D tier. Next is airplane simulator. Not the worst thing in the world, but compared to these other ones, it's meh. Like the Star Plane, I think it's a Cessna. I haven't played this in like over a year now, I think. I hope things change. Yeah, and judging from the game passes, I will put this on C. Next is Pilot Training Flight Simulator. Now I know a lot of people really like this game. It's the most popular flight simulator right now. Yeah, me personally, I don't like it that much. I know it's a pretty old game. I used to play this before those other flight simulators came out, but now there's better games out there, me personally. I play for the realism. No I'm gonna get attacked for this, but I just really can't afford an actual flight sim. So yeah. Honestly, oh wait, I have to mention the community, those people who pretend to make plane crash recreation videos, I'm sorry guys, it's cringe, don't hate on me for this, but in my opinion, I think it's cringe, especially those like 10 year olds who keep mistaking FedEx Flight 80 for a DC-10 when it's an MD-11, those types of people. Yeah, honestly, not a bad game because everything's free, like majority of it's free, but the community sucks. I'm gonna be fair though, the community shouldn't really matter, but I also do not like the fake names the planes although I think they're trying to avoid copyright but no other game does this oh well I'm gonna be even and put in B SFS flight simulator I think, I think the owner's name was like Scally something or whatever I met him and he was like flying a private 757 this game brings me great nostalgia. I dumped my Robux on most of the game passes. I'd upload gameplay to like show each of these, but I don't have access right now and I'm kind of bored. I'll probably like make that a future video comparing all the gameplay. But that's a fast flight simulator. It unfortunately died. I like the ground crew stuff. It used the um, old plane kit that you'd see in every free model on Roblox. If you're making a game, you'd know what I'm talking about. But yeah. Really good game for how old it was, I guess. It, I think it died as newer games began to come out so I have to I have to put this in B 
because most of the planes, I'm gonna be fair, like the big ones, they were locked behind the paywall, although I paid for them. Next is Flight Line. This is this is S tier. You wanna know why? I remember a place where they're liners. I used to play that from like 2018 and 2019. I played that all day. The nostalgia of it. And then um Jay released Flight Line with an ED for 25 Robux. It was like the testing version of Flight Line. I played it. I wish they bring back the 8310. The physics of the game are just astonishing. They're really good. And now the current flight line, although Project Flight has better models that are like more detailed. The physics itself, like the like the flaps, the the rudder thing. Why did I say rudder thing? Um, the spoilers. Yeah, the like autopilot. Although it doesn't have a failure system like Project Flight, this is my go to flight simulator when I just feel like flying around. Speaking of that, I'm probably gonna start flying higher real soon. And the community, although I said I wouldn't really count this, I just love mentioning it. They're really nice people very welcoming too for that it's s here and now we have aeronautica this game's goaded although it lacks the most physics out of all of these games it uses really simple mechanics there's just so many planes not to mention you can like create your own airline that actually has a point to it compared to PTFS because like everything's free it's, it's a bit grindy you have to like buy planes here I mean I think you do also an airplane simulator but you unlock licenses from in-game flight time it's very similar to how you get real life pilot licenses well, not really similar but very similar concept you get them at a specific flight time that you've been playing and then just like IRL you have to test for these licenses with like someone from the FAA right except here it's just a simulation and not to mention I already said this a ton of points like you could you wouldn't even have the chance to like test out every single plane in the game some are really hard to get and some are literally just event planes overall the game's really cool although it lacks physics and the scenery is beautiful i'm putting this in s tier lastly project flight i think of this game as the realistic version of pilot training flight simulator. Although the landing gear retracts and goes down, I guess I forgot the word for it. Retracts and extends like it has animations. The gear tilt, I'm pretty sure PTFS has that too. The plane models, they have to be the most detailed out of all these games here. Although physic-wise, Flight Line still beats them. And I feel like I'm gonna put this in A. Cause I feel like they're trying to be a realistic simulator, like Flight Line, I guess, in some way. But also, their community it's not the best. You know what I mean? Cause like if you say you like Flight Line or any game more than Project Flight in the Discord or whatever, people are going to attack you for it. 
like opinions aren't allowed there or something. I remember people were telling me to leave because they said that. You know, everyone doesn't have the same experience, but that's just mine. Also, the game's like 50 Robux if I remember correctly. But I really like how the MD11, my favorite thing, is in the game. I think it's a really good job at like that. The lighting is also better than the light light. But just because it costs Robux and your physics aren't as good as flight light is going in A. Also, since I've rated everything on this list, don't hate me for it. This is just my personal opinion. I know y'all really like pilot training, flight simulator, project flight. It's okay. This is just my list. Yeah, I'll probably do a comparison video soon. Like when I finish testing it. And stuff because I'm relatively busy, but yeah, that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.